Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is decomposing uh, triangles to prove that uh, half of the area of its rectangle is indeed the then area of the triangle. For example, what I'm talking about is, let's take a look at this triangle here. What the kids did, what we did today, was we took some scissors and paper and rulers, and we decided to split a rectangle in half, and if that, that rectangle had the same length as the base of its triangle, we cut this guy up into pieces, and this piece here would fit into, let's say, uh, this piece here, and then this piece here, let me use a different color, okay, would be turned over and fit right in here, thus proving that half of the rectangle, okay, is indeed the area of the triangle that shares the same base and height, okay? So the height would be here, uh, which is the width of the rectangle and half of it. So, and you can see it as well in another color red, that if I did cut this diagonally, that this is exactly what this piece is anyway. And uh, we had some fun with that. So this wasn't so bad, these particular guys, but some of these guys are interesting, like this guy here. So what we had to do, uh, what some of the kids did is they made a cut here, perpendicular to the base, and uh, they would fit that in. If I cut this in half, they would literally have to cut this piece over here, and so this whole piece would fit down, <laughs> I don't remember, in here somewhere, and then these two pieces, this guy and this guy, would share, you know, some piece in here. Um, here and here, and it fit in. It was a lot of fun. Uh, and then we took out the rulers, and we proved that the base of this guy matched up with the length of this guy, and then the height here, which is really this guy in here, was, you know, we used the same for the height, and indeed the area of the rectangle was twice the size of the area of the triangle, or the area of the triangle was half the size of the area of the rectangle. So. Let's see. And then we went to the board here and started working some numbers, just showing yet again what's happening here. Here's my base, or here's my triangle that I'm trying to find the area for. And I very much stress that it's a good idea to create that rectangle using the base and the height. So if my base is 24, okay, my height is 8 inches, and I'm going to go up that 8 inches using my base as the length of my rectangle, I'm going to go across here and down. So here's my 24 inches here. Here's my 8 inches here, again, from that height. And there's my rectangle. And you can see um, that if my area then is 1 half base times height, and now I'm just going to plug some things in here, half the base, and the base is my 24 times the height, which is my 8. And now it's just a matter of multiplying. Since I have three values I'm multiplying, I can multiply these guys in any order. So I'm going to do my 1 half, my 24 first, and 1 half of 24 is 12. And 12 times 8 gives me my 96. My unit is inches. And since we're talking area, we're talking squares, amount of space. And there you have it. Okay. So that's the deal, folks. That's what we worked on. Again, it was kind of cool. This guy's interesting because then let me just at least draw for you what the rectangle would be. If this is my base here, my 12 and 3 quarters as my base, I'm going to cruise on down using my height as a guide and create this rectangle. And through the activity today, we already knew that if I was cutting this thing up and fitting it inside of half that rectangle, it would certainly be half. So um, so here would be my height, here would be my base, and as far as calculating is concerned, I would be multiplying those and taking half of that value because by multiplying these guys, that would then give me the area of the rectangle. But since I just want the triangle, I would cut that value in half or divide it by two. Okay? So that's the deal, folks. That's what we worked on. All right? Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.